How you doing? No, my name's not Cecil. I'm the lawnmower lady, and I like fixing small engines. Today's quick tip video is going to be how to tighten up the pull cord on one of these old, old Tecumsehs right here. Easy fix. Doesn't take a long time. Follow along. All right. Here's an old Sears and Roebuck. Eager one mower. I dare say it's probably one of the most reliable mowers in my stable. Three and a half horsepower. Actually, this is my loaner mower in case I got to give somebody something that I can't get fixed on time. But we do have a little problem. And that is, as you can see, the pull cord's got a whole lot of slack in it. And it's not going back. It's a real easy fix. Truth be told, I gotta mow my own grass. And I don't have any other mowers to do that with. It's like the cobbler's children have no shoes. There's four little quarter inch self tapping screws in here. And typically, these really only have two screws in here. I've added extras because this mower gets a lot of abuse. And there's two more on the other side. I put this mower up dry over the winter, so hopefully it'll be an easy start once I get it ready to go. I've removed all four screws. I just lift the recoil starter off. And it uh, doesn't look like anybody took up residence this winter. That's good. All right, so it's sort of at the, it just won't go back any further. So I'm going to take a dental pick. I'm going to pull the cord out of here to get it out of the way. And then I'm going to take my special screwdriver that I use only for this. I heat it up red hot, and I'm going to melt a little slot right there on the edge of that. Then I'll be able to loop that around and make a couple of more turns. Perfect. Get the rope out of the way, don't want to burn that up. Boom. Don't breathe that, it's pretty toxic. Perfect. I've cleaned off the burrs off of there. I'm going to take the loose end, or the inside end, loop it inside of there, make sure there's enough clearance, and we're going to turn this one turn counterclockwise, or anti-clockwise, as our friends say across the pond, and see if that takes up enough slack for us. If not, we can do two turns. I think one might be enough. All right. Oh, she might need two. Get the tight end in the cutout and spin it around. Counterclockwise. This has got to be enough. I feel it's pretty tight right now. All right, I believe that is good to go. All right, it seems to be working fine. Can replace the four screws. Remember, yours might only have two. Um, and put some fresh gas in, check the oil. All right, let's give her a whirl.
So there you have it. That's how I tighten up the pull cord on one of these older Tecumseh engines. If you learned something or if you liked the video, please push the like and subscribe button and I can make more of these videos. Remember, I'm the Lawnmower Lady, and as I like to say, Mo Happy. Thanks for watching.